the elevation gain go up. I mean, it's just phenomenal how quickly you can climb here. Because you've got all that momentum. That's a dog avoidance technique I wouldn't recommend. The uh, long explanation with that. Uh, I broke my shifter last night, so I switched to this bike that, that Craig at Brick Alley is selling for me. So I went over there and he got me off with stuff. And just basically switched the pedals over and put cages on. Uh, anyway, the, my trek needs new pads, and so I've been running, you know, really low brake pads. Well, this bike has brand new pads on it. So right there, trying to slow down for that dog, I accidentally locked up the rear wheel, slid sideways. And I don't know if you saw that, but my rear wheel was sliding sort of towards the dog, and he jumped back. That scared him, because, you know, it made that, that that noise too. That was not intentional. Uh, <laughs> but it was very effective. You saw the dog jump out of the way. I wonder if the dog in that split second could sense that there was no control. It was like, oh my gosh. Get out of the way.